When I was in my first semester of graduate school, I had a professor, Bert Hansen, who was teaching history of medicine. Now, first of all, I'd never heard of history of medicine and no, had no sense of what history of medicine was, but he gave us the assignment to write our final papers, and he asked us to uh, use primary sources, which is something I had really not used before, uh, including newspapers. He told us that the New York Public Library had a whole newspaper room uh, outside of the main headquarters of the public library in the depths of 43rd Street, and they would have microfilm. So I decided to do my paper on the 1916 polio epidemic in New York and how it was reported in the ethnic press. And because I had a nodding acquaintance with Italian and German, I decided to look at the Italian and German newspapers, particularly because it was the Italian community that was stigmatized for having caused the epidemic. Uh, just as uh, with COVID, the Chinese community was stigmatized for having caused it, being the carriers. So I went and did research in the microfilm. It's been a great education in itself to learn how to use microfilm. And then uh, wrote my paper. And first, Bert was amazed because he had looked at all of the different uh, strata of ethnic newspapers, that is like the Penny Press and the New York Times and the Elite Press and such, but he never thought to look at the foreign language press. So he said that I had taken his instructions a step farther and I had opened up a new door uh, toward doing research. But then he told me that your information is great, your research is great, but you don't know how to write. And actually nobody had ever taught me how to write. And uh, so he actually invited me to come to his house and he literally went through my paper and showed me sentence structure, paragraphing, uh, how to make the main idea. And he helped me transform the paper from what he called a C paper to what he called an A++ paper. And then he nominated my paper for the Shryock Prize, the award of the Society for Historians of Medicine, and it didn't win, but he was the first person who made me think that I could actually write something that might be useful to people.